Hey guys, welcome to the LZH project. My name is Rodi and you're watching the first video of Ubuntu desktop series. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on your machine. I will be using virtual machine, um, but you can install it basically on anything that has a processor. Uh, so, to get started, uh, we will have the following setup. This will be a virtual machine with two disks attached. Uh, this is the common case scenario that you have two disks, one of which you are using for data or probably you have your uh, Windows or other operating system installed on that disk. So, uh, we will not ruin that data, we will just uh, learn how to append this disk to Ubuntu and first, uh, like this disk on the left is uh, the one we are going to use as uh, Ubuntu's primary hard drive uh, and we will partition it, but we'll get to that. Uh, so, first thing you have to do is to insert a CD into your machine, uh, set up your BIOS to uh, boot from your CD-ROM uh, and uh, restart your machine and it will boot into the installing prompt. So, okay, let's unpause it. Uh, first thing it will show you is the screen where you can uh, choose some options, but uh, we don't need them now. It will load into a live CD version. In a moment, meanwhile, I will tell you how to get Ubuntu. First thing you need to do is to go to the website of Ubuntu.com and then uh, you will choose the desktop and then press the button Get Ubuntu Now then select your, your version and flavor. So the version uh, that I'm using is 14.10 which is the latest Ubuntu versions at the moment, and it's 64-bit. After you press download, uh, in some simple steps you are downloading the ISO image of Ubuntu CD. Then you will have to burn it or um, dump it into your flash drive and boot your machine. Uh, so this is how the welcome screen of Live CD uh, looks. Let me go to scaled mode so that we see it better. Uh, so let's go ahead and install, like first choose our language and press that button, install Ubuntu. It will prompt you for uh, that you have at least 7.1 GB available drive space and you're connected to the Internet. Uh, basically, you don't want it to download updates while installing uh, because I like to uh, start using the system while it's installing updates rather than installing updates while the system is setting up because um, while the system is setting up it's not actually usable. Uh, so. I will just install the updates later, but if you want to uh, install third-party software like MP3 plugins, like if you want to listen to your music straight ahead, then you may want to install this third-party software. I will choose neither of these options now, uh, but basically you just press continue after you've chosen your options. And the second screen will ask you if you want to uh, reinstall an existing hard hard uh, like uh, existing installation of Ubuntu, which is like I have installed on this machine, or erase disk and install, or reinstall the same version. For Windows, it will uh, offer you pretty much the same options, but now uh, I will tell you how the things are done here by choosing something else so that we will partition this disk manually. 
Uh, now let's get back to our diagram. So disk number one is the one that we're installing Ubuntu onto. So uh, Linux, all Linux systems need at least a root partition, which is similar to Windows disk C and drive C, but it has a little bit like different style. And then your home folder, uh, the home partition is uh, you uh, don't have to necessarily keep your home partition separate, but I totally recommend you to do so. Home partition is uh, something where uh, is the place where your documents and your settings are sto stored and your user data, your files are stored in home folder. So you don't usually need to edit any other folder in your system than your home folder and its substructures. Uh, why you want to keep it separate? Uh, because it will preserve your all your data across installations and you may totally uh, format the root partition which is the system based partition but your, your home like your documents and your settings will remain the same uh, and this is not only working up uh, in Ubuntu type distributions this is valid across I believe pretty much any a Linux distro. So, like, my recent case is that I used to have Ubuntu on my machine and now I'm using Arch here. And all my documents, all my settings are the same. I just installed the apps and opened it and they are in the same places, like all the uh, all the windows are open in the same places. Uh, I don't have to retype all the passwords again they are just saved and uh, restored after I uh, reinstalled the system so basically I don't want to have a slash home folder inside your root partition and the third part is this web partition. Web partition is the place where uh, stuff is temporarily stored when you are running out of uh, RAM. So let's go... Okay. Uh, so here is my uh, setup that I used to have. I will totally remove these partitions. So the dev SDA is disk number one and dev SDB is disk number two. They are separate hard drives, they are just attached to the same machine. Um, so I will remove all the partitions to show you the process. So I have all the free space at slash dev slash sda. So let's go ahead and create some partitions. So first of all I will I will create root partition. This this is going to be 7.1 gigabytes. Um, yeah like this. It will be the primary partition in the beginning of this space um, and I will use this as ext4 journaling file system. Uh, this is uh, Linux default file system and mount point is root so it's just slash it will create this partition and then we'll, we'll move on to the next so next partition I want to be is the swap partition I recommend uh, using twice as much swap space as you have your RAM. Uh, so I will 
make a small swap partition here because this uh, hard drive is pretty small. It's only a 10, around 10 gigabytes. Uh, so I will create a smaller swap. Let's give it a 5, 12 megabytes. And the rest we will leave for home partition. But on big hard drives your home partition will take the most place, like most disk, disk space. So I'll, I'll just say that it's a beginning of the space, uh, it's logical, it's slash home and it's ext4 with all space available. Let's press OK. So this will install the system into root folder creating swap and home folder. Oh, I actually need to change this for swap area. Use as swap area. Uh, currently I will have all uh, partitions formatted except for this drive. I don't need to format it. Um, because we have changed the partitions layout. So basically once this is done we press on install now. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, right. You have to agree this, because after this uh, window you will not be, like, your disk will be, your disk partitions will be rewritten, and your data will be messed up if you had any. So, you should be ready for this. Uh, that I'm formatting home partition, and I'm formatting swap partition, partition and I'm formatting the root partition so let's just go on it's a virtual machine anyway uh, so next thing we select is the time zone which is Almaty Kazakhstan for me click continue then it will prompt for keyboard layout I will choose English and I will add my local layout later English US press continue then my name is R01 username uh, my computer name my super secret password okay passwords do not match And then require my password to log in or log in automatically. Uh, if you will have multiple users on this machine, you better use login. Require your password to log in, or if you want to um, get secure of uh, any other people using your machine without your permit, so we will just use require my password to log in, and then continue. So, after this step, uh, Ubuntu will install on your machine. Uh, so, I will pause the video uh, while this is uh, this process is going on because it's quite long. So, uh, meet you there. All right. So the system has installed. And now all we have to do is to press Restart Now button and wait for our computer to boot into your newly installed operating system. Okay, so no disk is attached. Now let's wait. So 
so this is a login manager you have to type in your password and your in so on your left side you will see the launcher and on the top you will see the panel which will show your application status and that's pretty much it so in a couple of next videos I will explain you guys how to uh, use Ubuntu like how to get into it and please guys if you like this video don't forget to press like button and subscribe so thanks for watching